The impact of COVID-19 on many faculty members uh, like me in Morocco has been so drastic. My income and the research depend on American students coming here to learn Arabic and take content courses. I hope that my colleagues in the United States will encourage those, their students to start coming here again so that we can get through this pandemic together. Precarity isn't just about faculty positions or overt pressures on a field. According to an early 2021 U.S. Department of Labor report, 650,000 jobs were lost in U.S. higher education in the first year of the pandemic. This number doesn't include the toll on colleagues who work in higher education beyond university settings in the U.S. or elsewhere. Education abroad was hit especially hard by COVID-19. There are yet no hard data on the devastating losses of jobs or programs. Global South Education Abroad programming struggled against the most popular study abroad destinations, all in the global north, as it was. The pandemic has greatly exacerbated this problem. Prior to the pandemic, fewer students studied abroad in MENA region countries than anywhere else in the world. Uh, MENA colleagues in American universities, uh, do not forget about your colleagues in the MENA region. Uh, we are depending on American students to keep our jobs and research. We are depending on you to send us uh, students to exchange programs to keep the industry running. MESA and its membership have a responsibility to help. Show solidarity with education abroad colleagues. Like you, they are all educators. Be active in your support of education abroad in the Middle East and North Africa and elsewhere in the Global South. Support it across all disciplines and academic fields, not just Middle East studies or other area specializations. أثرت جائحة كورونا على مجال تعليم اللغة العربية بشكل كبير. الكثير من البرامج أوقفت والعديد من الأساتذة فقدوا وظائفهم. الآن بعد التعافي نحن مستعدون لتعاون مع نظرائنا في أمريكا لاستقبال الطلاب وإعطاء هذا المجال زخما جديدا. Be creative and innovative in your own program development. Education abroad programming without thoughtfulness and intention risks reinforcing problematic tropes. Support all program modalities, virtual and in-person. They all have great value. Foster approaches to education abroad built on humility and the truth that the Global South creates and disseminates knowledge. Support equity of education abroad opportunities for all learners. Hi, my name is Miriam and I teach the community-based learning class um, at Amidist in Amman, Jordan. The topic we address in class uh, can only be fully grasped and understood by the students if experienced on the ground. So keep sending us students. It's important for them, it's important for us, and it's important for the broader academic community.